What is up, ladies and buckaroos? It is another motor vlog day. I finally figured out how to get the audio to come out of both ears, so hopefully this sounds a little better. Um, it will still be a little muffled because my microphone is literally like in my cheek. It won't sound the best, but it'll sound a little better. You'll actually be able to hear me. The dirt bike probably won't start. I might have to jump start it, which will be a pain in the butt, <clears throat> but it won't be too big of a deal. It is freaking cold out here too. It's like 40 degrees. I know it's not the coldest, but being like 70 something this weekend, whew, going out, being able to go out in like a t-shirt, it's a little different. It definitely won't ride for long. But I wanted to get a video out to you guys. I kind of have a topic for the video, I kind of don't. We'll see how it goes. Whew. That scared me. It was really loud inside my helmet. All right, I know it won't. Let's see if this bad boy starts. I would say that's a little dead. We'll skip my efforts of jump starting it and we'll, we'll, uh, go right to me actually being on it while it's running. I can't really snap on this thing, I, I realized. So uh, that was my best shot. It started up just fine. I just had to jump it because uh, it's been sitting for a while now. I'm gonna head over there and see if we can get in the cornfield. It might be a little muddy yet. So my main point of the vlog today was just gonna tell people why they should get a dirt bike. in here. It's actually not bad. I can feel my back fishtailing a lot. Oh gosh. Especially in these muddier spots. Yeah, anyway, sense of responsibility when you're younger. Because like things like these, like you have to realize that you can get in trouble, which I might get in trouble. It's just kind of one of those things where you got to be responsible for your actions. This isn't really like a planned vlog, so I'm just kind of going off the top of my head. Oh yeah. And they're fun. They're, uh, they're definitely lots of fun because you can meet up with your friends with them and you can learn, I mean, learning how to ride them and learning how to work on them is fun. It's it. Oh, man. This is a lot bumper than I remember. Learning all that stuff, working on them with your friends, it's all a super good time. I missed a call for a meeting I'm supposed to be in that I totally forgot about. So I might have to turn back around here soon anyway. Oh, man, that's hard to talk and ride on this. Just get a dirt bike, they're so much fun. It's cool learning something different than other people, like learning how to shift these and brake and all. Obviously braking isn't that hard, but like just learning how to be coordinated with all these things is a pretty cool thing in my mind. There we go. Just like exploring like these places, like you can go out and explore. You can't really take a car through here illegally. You can take a dirt bike through here illegally. Yeah, I didn't really get permission, but this farmer has been here for years and we've been doing it for years, so I guess we've been illegally trespassing and he's just never cared. So I just told my buddy I'd call back in 15 minutes. Um, I'll, I'll tell him I was working on my dirt bike or something. He'll see this tomorrow and realize that was a lie. I don't know. I'm not going to get too in, de in depth and like try and be some scholar about it. Just, just get a dirt bike. Even if you're older, like I'm 20 years old, I still enjoy them. And like that's not even that old. Like if you're like 40 and you're a dad and want to go get a dirt bike with your kids, like you definitely should. If my dad was out here riding around with us, I I feel like that would have been so much fun. That would have been a blast. But he never really got into it. It's just me and my brothers kind of thing. I mean, if you're young too, if you're like 13 watching this and saying, "Oh man, I really want a dirt bike," what I would suggest if you're trying to get your parents to buy you a dirt bike, what I would suggest is that you propose paying for a fraction of it. Let's say you go up to your parent or guardian and say, I'll pay a third of the price if you can pay two thirds. Show that you have some incentive. My dirt bike was 600 bucks, this one. I paid 400 bucks of it, my, my mom paid the other 200. So I paid two thirds and she paid a third. If you do that, I mean, it's it shows that you're working hard, you're saving up. If you be responsible with your money, maybe you'll get something. Another thing is look every day. Just look on Craigslist, look on Facebook, look everywhere. Because a deal will pop up. I know it doesn't always seem like it, but a deal will pop up. I promise you. And don't be afraid to offer people things. Take advantage of this. Oh, here we go. Get some dirt off the tires. 
I know that was really quick. It was probably pretty pathetic, but I mean, there's not really much to it. If you want to get a dirt bike, I, I just say you should go get one. Like, like I said, keep an eye out, and there's different ways you could uh, persuade your parents into helping you buying one. I've learned a lot of my car things and just tinkering with engines just by working on dirt bikes. When they break down, you learn how to fix them. My uh, one of my bosses actually at work gave me his weed whacker because he didn't know how to fix it. He's like, here, fix this. I took it home within 15 minutes, I had it running again. So like things like that, it's just kind of cool. Comment down below too if I missed something. If you have a couple questions about uh, anything about dirt bikes, just let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. I might have missed something. Like I said, this is really last minute. I needed a video, so I figured I'd make something something to talk about don't be too hateful in the comments i apologize i hope you enjoy the uh second moto vlog of like half a year or a year i can't really remember if you want to see more of these or if you have any more questions about this topic i'd be happy to help you I'd be happy to answer any of your questions because i'm a full supporter of dirt bikes as you can tell because they're just so much fun i love them thank you for watching i appreciate it please subscribe and uh, hit that bell if that means something. I don't really know, people say that, but I know it means it notifies you. It'd be cool if you guys were notified. I'd like to keep doing shout outs, so maybe I'll do another hashtag shout out in my next video to see what you guys think. I know there's only like 13 of you. I appreciate all your guys' support. Thanks for watching, follow me on Instagram at isismicon underscore official, and uh, we'll see you next time.